Worldwide parent coach and conscious educator Sue DeCaro is on a mission to revitalize the joy in parenting. Welcome to Conscious Parents, Thriving Kids, a podcast designed to help parents all over the world create deeper connections with themselves and their children while overcoming life's daily parenting challenges. Listen in if you want to bring more laughter, love, and enjoyment to your home life. Welcome to Conscious Parents Thriving Kids, a place for all things parenting. I am your host, Sue DeCaro. In our last episode, we talked about how important our children's brains are and how we need to nurture them in many different ways. And I want to highlight an important nugget from our last episode that you can take forward, and that is nurturing our brains in the way of play. Play is an essential part of our children's development. There's so many different forms of play, so many textures, so many different types of imagination that we can bring to life in play. When I think about childhood today, as opposed to when my children were young, I'm overwhelmed by the changes. Back then, in my children's young lives, playtime meant something different than what it means today. For my children, playtime meant go out in the backyard, play with your toys, Use your imagination, make up games, enjoy the outdoors, find a friend, and play. However, this is not the case today. In my own childhood, I can remember my mom opening the door, probably around 9 a.m., and sending us out on our merry way. I lived on a farm, so there was a lot of areas to play. I don't think I came back till dinner time, or at least that was my recollection. And so the whole day, I found things to do with friends and neighbors outside, in nature, using my creativity and my imagination. For today's children, we really need to think about this and look at this. Technology has been such a big staple in their lives and their growth and their development and in families. So it is an important question to ponder in terms of your own children's play and what that looks like. What does that look like? Play does seem to be on the decline, yet it's still so essential for our children to grow and develop in terms of their cognitive and emotional emotional skills. They need opportunity to use their imagination, to tap into their creativity, and through play, children learn how to interact and explore the world around them, typically in an uninhibited way. Parents who engage and play with their children, following their children's lead, offer opportunities for their kids as well as themselves to see the world through a different lens, creating a deeper bond with their children and instilling a sense of confidence in their children as leaders. Because in this type of play, It is super important to let our children lead us. Yes, as parents, we often want to be in control. However, when we step into our children's world, into their play world, it's a huge opportunity to let them be the leaders and us to be the followers, play their way. Perhaps they take a ball game outside and ask you to join. And the directions may be so foreign from what you're accustomed to, because perhaps you know the game from your own childhood, like Foursquare, for example. Go along with the program. Follow your children's lead. Allow them to be in charge of this game. It makes a huge impact in their self-confidence and leadership skills. When my kids were little, again, I remember how important play was in our house. I did not know at that time that movement was a key factor in brain development and overall health and wellness. However, what I did know was that if my kids did not get outside and move their bodies, the energy that was bottled up inside of them would come out in other ways, perhaps not the healthiest and perhaps not something that I was really excited about. Children need movement. Their bodies, their brains, they need movement. And play and nature is a great opportunity to give them just that. 
my kids were actually very creative outside. I learned so much from their form of play and how they use their imagination. To this day, some of the images from their play are super clear in my mind. One of their favorite games was an obstacle course. It amazed me how many hours they could play using this obstacle course. They would set up jumps and obstacles in a huge circle on our driveway and then proceed to be horses jumping through the course. Again, for hours on end. It was a beautiful scene to watch for so many reasons. First, they created it. They created it with their imagination and they were moving. They used movement as a form of play. And they achieved such incredible joy from this activity, hours on end, day in and day out. And new obstacle courses had to be built every day and they went out and played because they could not leave it in the driveway. For one of us was sure to run over it. So looking at your children and what could offer them the opportunity to move their bodies, be outside in nature, even if it's cold, we have jackets, hats, and scarves and gloves for that, and be productive in their own creative and imaginative way. This is an enormous opportunity for brain development in our children, as well as for them to release the energy stored in their tiny little bodies. When we think about our children today, and you think about your children, what do you admire in their playtime? What do you see that they do in moving their body and using their imagination and in being creative with the world around them? How can you step into their world and be part of their imaginative play and watch their tiny little brains at work as they create and explore the world around them? Do you encourage them to go outside and play? Do you join them? Right now, it is winter in the United States on the East Coast, and we have our first snow for this year. What a beautiful opportunity in the snow to put on hats and gloves and go outside and go for a walk, kick the snow around, make a snowman, make a fort. We used to love to do that. Even have snowball fights. Nature offers us so many opportunities. It offers us an opportunity to be one with nature. It offers us an opportunity to be adventuresome and creative and explore the world around us. So my wish for you today is to have that opportunity to explore with your children, to encourage your children to go out into nature, to move their bodies, and to be creative and imaginative in their own play. Thank you for joining me today. Remember, every moment is a new moment for Conscious Connections. Thanks for listening to Conscious Parents, Thriving Kids. If you like what you heard, please subscribe, rate, and review at iTunes or wherever you listen in. And be sure to visit DeCaroParentCoaching.com for a free download of 10 ways to connect with your child.